<coughs> ah, Field Marshal. Yeah. What news from the front lines? Uh, glorious leader. A glorious leader. Uh, American forces have taken the Midlands, sir. The where? Sir, they're entering Birmingham. <laughs> Till they can keep it. Jesus! They've bombed it into the ground. Yeah, no, sir. Uh, it's always looked like that, sir. Oh! No. Oof. We mustn't give any more ground to these capitalist allied invaders. Uh, turn Birmingham into a frontline city. I want trains loaded with troops and sent there without delay. Unlikely. Yes. Yes, better have a, a replacement bus service on standby, actually, just in case. Uh, it's unlikely, as we don't have any spare divisions to send, sir. We're scraping the barrel as it is. Have we tried replacing the men with artillery? I'm not sure that's how that works, sir. And can somebody please turn this bloody day-night cycle off? Oh, uh, that's not the day-night cycle, sir. That's Allied bombers. Do you mean to say the Americans are bombing central London? Yes, sir. And this time it's deliberate. Well, don't just stand there! Get the RAF up! Uh, if by RAF you mean our remaining air force... Uh, well, he's just down for fuel at the moment, actually, sir. While we still have an airfield. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. No, that's perfectly safe. Maidstone Airfield is protected by that vast bunker array over at Guildford. Ah, yes. Sorry, sir, that's not actually a bunker complex. No, no, that's a little bit of concrete from the ceiling by the looks of it. Let me just get rid of that for you. As you can see, the Americans are advancing on all fronts. Um, in fact, oh, look, they've just broken through the Milton Keynes line. They made it through the roundabouts. God, I was banking on that foxing them for at least six months. How do we deal with this? Giant dustpan and brush? No? Yes, mm. yes. Mm. Hello, British Empire. Top secret underground bunker of the glorious leader. Just off the A315, left of the burnt out tank. <laughs> Sir, a new research slot has come available. Best we act quickly, otherwise our scientists will sit there and do literally nothing until the end of time. God, this is a lot of micromanaging. Oh, I think we should research this. Uh, what is it? I don't know, but pass it over to Geoffrey de Havilland and see what he can make of it. Yes, uh, but tell him not to make it out of whatever this is. It's far too heavy. Such a thing surely wouldn't fly. Yes. Hello? Yes, tell him to research this. Ah, brilliant news. I'll tell him. Sir, a new ally has requested to join our war against the Americans. This is it. This is the turning point. Final victory will be ours. Why I've got such great plans for Britain. First, I'll rebuild our industry with civilian factories. Then, I'll address this recent housing shortage. And finally, I'll put more infrastructure in the Midlands. And it's... it's Venezuela, isn't it? Yep. G haven't they got enough on their plate as it is? Yeah. Ah, phone line's down, sir. We're cut off. <sighs> Would it be time to launch Operation Load a Save Game? No, that's cheating, and we're British. Besides, we're playing on Iron Man mode. So the situation really is a bit sticky, isn't it? Oh, everything can be fixed with a cup of tea, sir. Well, apart from our last teacup. I mean, that's really had it. Yeah. <sighs> what would Hitler do in a situation like this? Bunker party? I'll put on some swing. Right. I'm gonna brain myself with a pistol if it's all the same to you. Kill it before the Americans arrive. We... Uh, we don't have any pistols, sir. Uh, in fact, we're at a deficit of 125,000 infantry equipment. Now that's strange. Uh, turn, uh, turn on the radio for a second there, Bill. Good morning, Birmingham! It is another beautiful day in the liberated state of Old England, and we'll be hitting you with the latest in sports. Where last night, the Slough Supersonics destroyed the Bazing Stoke Badgers. In that game, you're all just learning about baseball. Over to you, Dan. Thanks, Travis. There's one hell of a pile up on the M25 into New Washington today. Guess one patriot was driving on the wrong uh, side of the road. Something's quite wrong here. Yes, it says here in the uh, 
New Washington Bugle that we've been liberated. Oh, you mean they've puppeted us? Oh, they're literally never going to let this go, are they? Telegram for you, sir. Eisenhower wants to talk. There's an automobile waiting out back. We really cocked this game up, didn't we? Right, come on then. Hang on, Bill. Do you support this channel on Patreon? No. Right, well, you can walk. Onwards, driver. And now for the weather. Currently, it is cloudy in New Detroit with a rain and a forecast at high of 23. Tomorrow, the weather will be, surprise, rain. Gee, who would have guessed it? Guess you guys better be rebuilding those houses. <laughs> well, you've been listening to 101.1 NWBC. I'm Dan Patricks. We'll be seeing you right back after these messages.